Welcome to the third video on transport. Transport in human beings, blood circulatory system we have already seen in the previous video. This video deals with transport in human beings, lymphatic system. Everybody knows what is blood. Okay, so blood circulatory system, you knew quite a few of the facts. But what is lymph? We have another medium of circulation in the human body just like blood. And that is lymph. Blood is red in color. Lymph is light yellow liquid. And it contains a large amount of proteins, digested food, germs from cells and dead cell fragments. So how is lymph formed? You know there is plasma. Plasma leaks out from the blood capillaries. Okay. When blood carries food and oxygen around the body and plasma in the blood it leaks out from the blood capillaries around the body cells. This plasma which leaks out from the body through the blood capillaries is actually called the tissue fluid. Okay. So, the liquid from the blood which is forced out through the capillary walls moves between all the body cells. And when it is moving between the body cells, it provides them with food and oxygen. It also removes carbon dioxide in the process. This fluid is called tissue fluid. Actually speaking, most of the tissue fluid will seep back into the capillaries. Okay? But a small part of it, the remaining that is, it will carry large protein molecules, digested fat, germs from cells, dead cell fragments, and it will enter into another type of tiny tubes. Those tiny tubes are called lymph capillaries. Once this happens, we call that tissue fluid lymph. Okay? So this lymph along with its contents will be returned to the blood by another type of transport system in the human body and that is the lymphatic system. What is the lymphatic system? The lymphatic system consists of a system of tiny tubes. Those tubes we say they are lymph vessels and certain glands called lymph nodes. And these structures that is the lymph vessels and the lymph nodes transport lymph from the body to the blood circulatory system. So the lymphatic system consists of lymph capillaries, lymph vessels, lymph nodes or glands and lymph. Lymph, the last uh, thing which you have here, lymph, is the fluid. The lymph network. You can see in the picture how the lymphatic system covers the whole body. Lymph capillaries join and they form larger lymph vessels. Lymph vessels have nodes at regular intervals and lymphocytes are present in the lymph nodes. What are lymphocytes? Actually lymphocytes are cells. They are a special type of cells. And they are involved in the cleaning of lymph and protecting the body from disease. Lymph vessels are connected to the large veins of the blood circulatory system as shown in the diagram. Let us make a comparison of lymph and blood. Lymph is a light yellow liquid like I told you and it is somewhat similar in composition to blood plasma. It is not red in color because it does not contain RBC. 
Lymph contains large protein molecules in digested food, germs from cells, fragments of dead cells as we already saw. Lymph is also another medium of circulation in the body but lymph flows only in one direction. It flows from the body tissues to the heart and because lymph is obtained from tissue fluid which remains outside the cells of the body, lymph is said to be an extracellular fluid. How does the transport of lymph occur in the body? Lymph seeps into the lymph capillaries present throughout the body. It passes into larger lymph vessels containing lymph nodes. In the lymph nodes, the lymph gets cleaned by the white blood cells called lymphocytes. These white blood cells eat the germs and dead cells. They also make antibodies to protect the body from disease. Then the cleaned lymph which contains large protein molecules, digested fat and other useful materials gets transported by lymph vessels and it reaches the large veins called subclavian veins which run just beneath the collarbone. These veins will then carry the lymph to the heart. So this is the way in which circulation of lymph from the body tissues to the heart occurs. Functions of lymph or lymphatic system. This is a very important question from the exam point of view. What are the functions of lymph? First, lymph takes part in the nutritive process of the body. How does this happen? It puts into circulation these protein molecules, isn't it? So it carries them from the tissues into the bloodstream because the protein molecules will be large and so they cannot be absorbed by the blood capillaries because of their size. So, how it reaches different parts of the body through the lymph. Other than this, lymph will carry digested fat also for nutritive process. Second, lymph is very important for, because it protects the body by killing the germs by, with the help of the lymphocytes present in the lymph nodes. And it, I told you it already makes antibodies. So, in this way, it protects the body. Third, Lymph helps to remove waste products. You have fragments of dead cells and those, isn't it? So lymph will help to remove the waste products. I hope you found this video useful. Click like. If you like this video, subscribe, share this video with your friends.